This is Famara Beach on the northwest coast of Lanzarote and it's evening. And this is Famara Beach on the northwest coast of Lanzarote in the morning. As you probably guessed from this, I'm actually here to do a sunset shot and a sunrise shot to compare and contrast the light and conditions for the two different times of day. I'm here this evening and I'm going to wait till the sun goes down and take a shot of these cliffs behind me here and hopefully the sun will light them all up. I'm also going to look around for some other compositions as well. The sky's pretty clear but there's a lovely haze and there's some really good opportunities here today so I'm hoping that I can get some really nice shots. So while I'm waiting for the sun to go down I'm just taking advantage here of the fantastic light behind me. Um, it's creating some really good silhouettes and what I'm doing is I'm going and standing by the, by the waves lapping in and I've got the 70 to 200 on. I'm shooting in aperture priority mode and about F4. And I'm just picking out silhouettes that are walking along the beach with the mountains in the haze in the background with the sun. I think I've got some really nice shots, hopefully. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just waiting at the moment for the sun to drop a bit more. I'm hoping it's gonna light these, uh, these mountains up, this cliff up as it, as it drops. But as it stands at the moment, I'm just literally waiting for the sun to drop. Well, that was a real race against time because the sun actually dips really fast once it gets going. Um, I think I got some decent shots. I just totally took my focus away from the cliffs in the end because there was no nice light on them. I just looked to where the sun was setting. I've got the 70 to 200 on. Um, basically, I'll put the 70 to 200 on to make the sun much bigger, pull the mountains or the hills in the background there towards me, try and get a little bit of interest in the shot as well with some people walking through. Seems to have done the trick. I'm just waiting for someone to come back into the frame. Um, yeah, just try and get a bit of interest. Just try and get a bit of interest with some people walking through the frame. Seems to have done the trick. I think um, the sun has now dipped completely, but I might still have a, a bit of nice light left.
So I'm here in the morning and it's a very different place in the morning. It's much quieter, obviously. Uh, it's much more, it seems rougher. It seems more open to the elements. It's probably because the sun's not quite up yet. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a different place in the morning for sure. So I really like these stones, these pebbles that are uh, on, the, on the floor here and I also like these stone semicircles that are used for sunbathing. So what I've done is I've got the wide angle on now and I'm shooting at its widest at 17 millimetres and I'm trying to just include these pebbles and make them almost like the focal point of the shot and these uh, stone semicircles with the mountain and the sun rising in the background. Um, I'm just trying various different compositions at the moment probably going to get a bit lower to the pebbles in a minute and just see if I can take that. I'm obviously taking some panoramic images but they're going to look hugely distorted at 17 millimeters but it might make for an interesting shot. So I've got some really nice colours in the sky now with the sun coming up and so what I've done is I've moved here between these two sand dunes and uh, what I'm hoping is, I'm, I'm shooting a panoramic image and what I'm hoping is, is that they're going to provide a natural frame uh, one side and then the other side so um, it looks quite nice, the light's changing now quite, oh, he nearly fell over, the light's changing now quite considerably uh, and often so I'm just going to keep shooting uh, and see what I can get. The world's woken up now, so it's pretty much time for me to go home. I am, however, just taking a couple more shots. Uh, I've got the 70 to 200 on, and I'm just focusing in on the top of these mountains here, uh, where the clouds rolling across and the sun's coming up, and I'm having a sort of inner James Burns moment where I'm, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just really enjoying the detail here. I'm zooming in, I'm getting really close in on these, on these tops of these cliffs, and just getting it as the clouds and the light rolls over the top. Uh, it's really nice, actually very atmospheric. So uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying that just before I go. So that's me pretty much done here. Uh, essentially, that was the sunset versus sunrise uh, shoot. Uh, I hope that you got something out of it. It was really interesting for me to come to the same place uh, as sunrise and sunset to see how the light changes the environment and also how the people in the environment change the type of shot that you end up taking. I found that last night I was far more concentrated on trying to get the people in the landscape for a bit of human interest whereas this morning really for me it was all about the landscape it was all about the sky and it was all about the atmosphere anyway thanks for watching uh, i hope you've enjoyed the vlog if you have then as always please give it a thumbs up uh, if you want to subscribe then feel free to subscribe and if you've got any comments again 
please feel free. Comments are always welcome. Uh, and until next time, uh, see you later.